Hello, third week, fourth week, something like that. Uh, this vlog came in late because I worked on this thing that was quite big. And I'm gonna show you what happened, what, what went down. <coughs> okay, um, I recycled canvases this time, like two, chopped them in pieces, arranged them like a puzzle, and this one has 40 inches by 27, and it was quite big. I asked my uh, frame maker, my Samo, a genius, to put it all together and he turned it into this very solid frame surface awesome thing. I decided to approach this in a different way. I first of all I made a sketch like um like more of like a thumbnail with a very def uh, like defined color palette and just where I wanted the color to be, didn't go into detail with the faces, didn't go into detail with what was going on in the background. I just um, had this, made this sketch. I uh, decided to treat this surface as I treat walls uh, for a short amount of time before I left my hometown. I used to do street art and I used to paint things that were like, two meter and three meter tall and wide that's like the biggest I I I worked on like <laughs> the biggest wall I had and um yeah like here you can see that I'm making a grid um that is not a regular grid because this is only for like the general composition it's not a, a very small grid where I can you know, copy every detail. It's just a bigger grid that is gonna allow me to put things in the right place. So as soon as I finished sketching, I started painting. <laughs> At this point, I understood what a friend of mine used to tell me when I was learning how to paint for the first time back in art school. And he said, don't use paint to fill in the blanks. You're painting pictures, you're sculpting with this mass of color. And by that was to really just be more adventurous with color and think of it as its own thing, not a tool to fill in a previous drawing.
the next steps on the painting uh like i didn't record much of it because it required me to be very close to it using crayons using oil paint uh to sculpt fire and either you saw what i did or you saw my back so i decided to just show in detail the final results instead of uh, focusing on how it was made Now, uh, believe it or not, oil takes a lot of time to dry. And this house and fire will take a, around one month to dry or something like that. Uh, inside and outside. First, it's going to create this crust and this solid outer um, armor. <laughs> and then it's going to start drying on the inside. And... Yeah, I decided to leave it like this. You're seeing in detail what how it looks like now. I the window needs work because I want to do reflections and add uh like these blue lights uh that are inside of this restaurant Denny's kind of place, <laughs> but more abandoned and depressing. And yeah, and Oof, that that was an experiment where I just um, forced myself to work on one thing, one big thing. And um, it was nice. It was nice to... It was like a relationship. <laughs> like It was like a marriage where at some point I, I faced conflict and felt like giving up at one point and you know there was a full day where I didn't even touch it I didn't want to see it and you know there were times I was like no this painting sucks this shit it looks awful and you know there was one day I was I took this to my workplace to keep working on it and my boss saw it saw it and he's he's an artist too he's a painter and he he always uh he's very tough uh when he's uh supposed to give feedback and he's always telling me oh you're too stiff you're trying too hard and uh, and i i could feel that in my own workflow this one felt so loose i felt like it felt more casual for me to work on it um you know, I wasn't, I didn't have anything specific in mind. So when I started painting, it was more like an adventure. Like I didn't know where I was going or where it was going to end. And, and I think he perceived that. He perceived the calm 
uh, and at the same time, the different type of energy I was putting into it. And he just left a small note on my desk with an arrow pointing to my painting and it said, nice painting. <laughs> and for him to say that is... It takes a lot. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to sound like oh, I'm praising myself or anything. Um, but it really motivated me a lot uh, to know that someone that I respect a lot and also has this really long career in visual art um, finds something interesting in what I'm doing. So I think we're on the right uh, path <laughs> and I'll keep working on it um, I have a surprise for you next week things are going to change next week I'm going to start a super different project uh, still visual um, still based of, on one of your ideas but uh, it's going to be different and I'm very excited to start working on it um, yeah, thank you guys and I'll see you next week.